a digital dinner. This 3D printer is simultaneously printing and cooking a delicate multi-layered triangular cookie. Yes, it looks more like a sculpture than something designed to be eaten, but digital cooking could be coming to your kitchen. A team of engineers at Columbia University have created a 3D home food printer, and it could have major implications for nutrition and healthcare in a future of highly customized food production. In the kitchen, we still cook like cavemen. We, we cook uh, over an open flame. We use uh, very primitive tools. But what will happen when this uh, technology will enter the kitchen? I think it's going to be a revolution. And uh, you know, when I talk to people, I often find that people's reaction often depends on their generation. Uh, some people will think, OK, it's, it's, uh, it's a really bad idea. I want to do everything manually, the old-fashioned way. But then you have uh, younger generations uh, for which it seems very natural that you'll cook with software. The digital dinner was put to the test in a working Manhattan restaurant kitchen. Engineering students and chefs teamed up for a two-day 3D food printing marathon. With sleek laptops next to the stoves, the teams made polentas, purees and desserts with their own original designs. Chef Hervé Melivert from the International Culinary Center in New York City came up with the recipes for the team. So we develop different flavors with vegetable, with polenta, with chicken, with fish, and we was able to print. Uh, my only kind of concern, you know, as a chef, who I'm little can step back on it, it's uh, the changing of the connective tissue, the texture, because at the end you're puring everything. The students also did tests with egg salad, salmon mousse, and chocolate souffle, anything that could be put through a printer nozzle. The challenge was to find the right structures and shapes for each of the food items' consistency and to play around with the temperatures. You know, like decoration, utilizing a printer for decoration. For decoration, to use the printer to make a decoration over a dish like I did over a legume puree with a chestnut puree, I did leave a little in the 3D and then we put it together with a traditionally cooked fish or chicken. So for little decorations incorporated to a dish, yes, maybe, but to do it with meat, mm, I don't think so. The team at Columbia University has already created a prototype designed to hold multiple cartridges of food. People with specific food allergies to the more health conscious might in the future be users of the 3D home food printer, and the possibilities are endless. In that same way, we might have access to new kinds of foods that we can't make ourselves, we can't buy, or we can't pay somebody to make. We'll be able to share food across the planet with uh, loved ones. We'll be able to, uh, some recipes might go viral, and we'll be able to taste them on the spot. Uh, and particularly, we might be able to connect food with uh, personalized health, biometrics, personalized medicine, uh, our genome in ways that we can't do today. So when can you buy the printer, set it up in your kitchen, ready for that first digital meal? Researchers say their innovation is more or less ready and that marketing it is more a business question. Turn off the gas, turn on the printer.